Hi, welcome back to the Miller Life Kitchen and my second edition of Croctober 2022, the collaboration with Jenny Goth at Jenny's Scratch Made Kitchen. Today I'm bringing you crock pot pierogi casserole. All right, here's what you're gonna do. We are gonna spray. I am using bow tie noodles and you do want to um, cook this first al dente just so they get cooked all the way through. And you're gonna spray your crock pot, put a layer of pasta in the bottom. I'm gonna use pasta that has a little bit more firmness to it. I have tried this with, um, you know, like egg noodles. It gets a little bit mushy. So you want something firmer. You could use lasagna noodles and make it more of like a pierogi lasagna. Or, um, yeah, anything that has a little bit more firmness to it when it's cooked. Okay, so you're gonna put a little layer on the bottom. Now you're gonna have your, on I have my onion cut up and then a stick of butter melted. So you wanna just put these together. Give it a little stir. And now we're gonna start the layer. I am going, you, now I'm using mashed potatoes that are leftovers, but you could use instant mashed potatoes, um, any kind of potatoes that you have made, or just make up a fresh batch. It does taste better though with real mashed potatoes versus using instant potatoes. Um, however though, if I'm going to a picnic and I don't have time to do all that or have any leftover mashed potatoes because I don't make them a whole bunch, uh, I will do instant. It's, it's good, but I feel like it tastes more authentic if you use real mashed potatoes. These potatoes actually were made with salt, pepper, and butter, so I am not adding anything at this point. If you made, um, if you make instant potatoes though, I would maybe salt, pepper it. So next is going to be the onions. So I'm just going to layer that onions in butter. And then cheese. Use any kind of cheese you like. This is the prepackaged shredded. A little layer of that on and that's it you're just gonna keep going now again I'm gonna do a layer of noodle pasta now I could have done this in a 13 by 9 crock pot but I like to be able to make it higher than what the, that crock pot is so I do it in here this also can be made in the oven. This is great though for when you've got a day. I use this a lot for picnics and things like that. Um, so it definitely is something that is great to put in the crock pot because you don't have to worry then about, you know, having your oven full of everything. And also if I'm taking this to to a get together, a potluck, which people request this. It's, it's so easy to just do it in the crock pot and then take it wherever you're going and then leave it on warm and it stays warm all day and you're not transferring it from pan to pan. So yeah, mashed potatoes. the rest of the onion on here and then the cheese now this is something that isn't going to be a long cook process this is literally you're just waiting till this is all kind of cooked through and your pasta is all the way done you're going to probably do about 
three hours and then switch it to low or warm I should say a couple hours on low and then transfer it to heat warm and then cheese that's it Put my lid on, and we are gonna be back when it's all bubbling and melted through. And then I'll show you how we um, like to, in Pennsylvania, we like pierogies with onion and sour cream. So once you serve this, you can put a blop or a dollop of sour cream on top, and it tastes exactly like an actual pierogi but look how quick and easy this is. Great potluck and for parties. Okay, see you in a little bit. All right, here we are. This is about four hours in. And I was checking if the onions are done. It smells so good. All right, so I'm going to get a dish and we'll plate it up. All right, guys, you know how you think a crock pot doesn't brown things, but set it and forget it, it does. Look at that, we do have browned noodles, we have browned cheese, everything. So I am gonna put a little crushed black pepper and I know I mentioned about sour cream. I thought I bought some at the store and I did not. I do have some in the freezer, but it's not the same. So I'm just eating it without, but that's fine too. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Pierogi casserole. I'm telling you, make it for a potluck or a party Everybody will be asking about it. Just saying. Thank you for joining me today. And don't forget to comment for your chance to win a crock pot on November 1st with Jenny's Scratch Made Kitchen. I appreciate your viewing and I'll see you next time at the Miller Life Kitchen.